guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to keep this intro short and sweet because I have an agenda and you can probably tell what it is before you even clicked on this video. But I'm gonna be reviewing some ski suits and just ski outfits, um, mainly because I'm hoping to go skiing in February, fingers crossed, if all goes well, obviously with regards to COVID and all of that jazz. Um, and I love my ski suits. I know they're quite 80s and quite jazzy, but they're just so much fun to be in the snow in. And so I had a look online and I noticed ASOS had some quite wacky options. And here we are. So I thought I would do a little video for you guys because I did do a video quite a few years ago on a ski suit I've had for ages now. And I'll pop it down below if you'd like to check that one out. And I do still love that ski suit, but I was just browsing and seeing if there was anything else that, you know, was on the same level as it. It's always good to have a spare. But I am actually wearing an all-in-one thermal that I also got from ASOS. But there's a really funny problem with it that I realised because I was like, oh, I'll start the video wearing it. That'll be a, you know, great start. So I actually, I really, really like it. It's like a really nice kind of almost like swimsuit fabric. Like I, I'm going to order another one in the exact same size because I love it. But um, whoever tried it on before me decided that the zip, well, I say whoever tried it on, I might be completely mistaken. It might be like a factory malfunction or something like that. The zip's just on one side and it's not like a zip you can um, put in and zip up. It's meant to be just always zipped up. So I think that's gonna be so cute as a like thermal outfit, if I move that other way. Like look at that, it's just an all-in-one, nice and like cream and black. I really love it and I love at the back actually, there's like this uh, little like mountain tag. I hope you guys can see it. It's kind of like just a little embroidery patch, but it's just really nice and it's so easy to move in. And I think under an all-in-one suit, it would be like just a total vibe. I just love it because when you like take the suit down halfway, this could be really cute under it, but the zip is broken. What a nightmare. And that's not the only problem I had with this order actually from ASOS. I was meant to have four ski suits to try and the fourth one, I don't know if it was in the wrong bag or what, they've sent me ski trousers, so I'll still try them on for you guys, but they're a totally different item to what I ordered, which was this like really nice all in black ski suit, which I actually think might be the winning one because it's a lot more sleek. My other ski suit is iridescent blue, the video will be down below if you want to check that out. So I was like, do I need two wacky ones or do I need like a nice black or white one to then, you know, contrast with my wacky one, but anyway, We'll see how this video goes and then I can always show you in another video if you guys are interested. But I'm waffling now, so let's just throw the first suit on. So we'll just mention that this base layer, I got it in a size small and it's only 30 pounds. So it's really reasonably priced, fits me great. Um, just be wary of the zip. So make sure you check that before you detag it. Um, just because it, I don't know if it's something that's happened previously, like when someone's tried it on or whether it's like a little defect or something. But it is really cute, not restrictive at all, and you've got like detailing on the sleeve. So you can see there. It's really nice quality actually. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Just obviously it doesn't work if it doesn't zip up. Now this one is quite similar to my other ski suit. And the reason I wanted to try this one is because everyone loves my ski suit. But it's not been for sale for ages now. It's like been out of stock for years. And this is the closest I could find. It's got like an iridescent like blue shimmer to it which I love. I'm almost gonna be like an astronaut on the slope, which honestly, I love the idea of. Um, so I got this one in a size 10, mainly because they didn't have a size eight in stock. So if you like this one, you might wanna jump on it quick. All the links will be down below so you can like check it all out and all of that jazz. Um, and it's in the sale currently for um, 120 pounds, which is quite reasonable for a decent ski suit. Dun, dun, dun. And honestly, a size 10 seems to fit. So now I'm a little bit stressed that all the other size uh, eights over here might not, but no, they should be fine. So let's have a look. I literally look like I'm straight out of the 80s. This is amazing. I'm gonna cook. I can, I'm literally gonna be so toasty by the end of this video. Right, I'm just gonna adjust my camera so you guys can see it. But I think we're on a winner. So honestly, I do look something straight out of like a uh, 1980s space film. I feel like I look like just a typical alien or astronaut. Don't know why, it's just the vibe I'm getting. I was going to complain a second ago that there's no pockets, but I found them. They're just up here, which is kind of cute. Um, it's really nice. And I've got to say, the 10 fits quite perfectly, actually. Um, it fits really nice over the top of the thermals. I'm not restrictive. I could do some, like, 
jumps and some other things. Length of it's lovely as well, like with ski boots or, you know, snow boots. It's absolutely fine. Um, incredibly toasty, but that might be because I've got thermals and uh, a ski suit on inside the house with the heating on, so that might explain that. It doesn't have a hood, so if that's like a key thing, maybe not this one. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't have a hood. But it is awesome, and I've got to say, not super unflattering. It, I know it's really, really wacky, but kind of feeling it. And it accentuates the waist, so yeah, it's actually really nice and not restrictive. You can do everything in this. We're good to go. And if you get like toasty, what I like about ski suits is you're not going to lose the jacket. You just like take it down. Dun, dun, dun and you just kind of tie it around your waist like a jacket and you just you're good to go again so whether you're like grabbing a coffee or something or just like hot on the slopes it's quite nice like this and this one is the cheapest of all the suits so this is only 120 on ASOS and obviously you can get student discount on top so it's quite snazzy actually I really like this one but this is so similar to my other one which is a problem. So let's try on the next one and see what they're like. So really rate this one. Let me just try and get the hanger. I'm trying to like keep everything organized, but organized and me, we're not the best uh, pair, but I do try. So next up we have this like awesome suit. Now I, these feel very high quality. Like you do feel the difference with these but they are about 250 pounds. So these are by a brand called, <laughs> I don't think I meant to pronounce it, but it's like Oosk, but it's O-O-S-C. And I got them in a size small and the other one's the same brand as well, this kind of white rainbow one. But these just feel so high quality and I would really trust these in the snow. This one feels a little bit thinner and maybe like I could rip it if I had a fall or something, but still would work. Whereas these, these are proper ski suits that are extremely wacky and colourful and I just, I love them so much, like they're so fun. So let's get this one on. <laughs> I know what's going to happen, I'm going to want all of these, but that's just not practical. I do not ski enough um, to justify that and living in England it's not like we get it all that often. So let me just actually undo the zip all the way, otherwise it will not go on. Ah, little problem with this one. They maybe didn't make them for a rather curvaceous bottom or hip area. So they're very tight on my hips and I do not like to be restrictive, restricted when I'm skiing. So let me just have a go. It will go on fine, but they do do an extra small and I went for the small, but I think for comfort reasons, I want a medium. I can't lift my leg up more than that. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see just how tight this is because of all the patterns. But like, yeah, I think you can like see the stress lines there. Like, it's very taut, the fabric. But I like the fact that it's got a belt and it's an adjustable belt. If I can untwist it. So you can make it nice and tight to your waist. So I'm, I, I like to look good regardless of what I'm doing, you know, if it's a crazy sport or, you know, just lounging around the house, you know, I like to dress up. But maybe, yeah, this one isn't quite made for my physique. But, I, don't, I mean, it's a sturdy, sturdy suit. I don't think it would rip, but I just can't move in it. So if you're shaped like me and you're like leg heavy, go for a medium in this uh, suit. And I think that's going to be the same with all of their suits, because they do have a few. But look at the patterns, it's so jazzy. I actually love this. And these ones do come with a hood. I'm not made for hoods, but let's do it. There you go. Full effect. I'm ready. You won't miss me on the ski slope. Like, if I ever get injured, it'll be like, oh, there she is. Which is kind of nice, although part of me does want to wear white in the snow just because I just feel like that's so stylish. Or maybe I'll go House of Gucci style and go for a red suit. If you haven't watched that yet, you'll understand once you've watched it. But yeah, way too tight on my thighs here. I just don't think I'd get full movement, but um, I think a medium will be good to go. 
So that's this one. So this next one is mainly white, which I liked, but it just had this little like extra kind of rainbow print on it, which I thought was a nice touch. And this one is in the sale on uh, ASOS for 200, so you can get 50 pounds off if you prefer this style. Um, why won't my foot go in? <laughs> Yeah, so the fit is the same on this one. Like, I automatically feel it when I get to my hip area that they're just a bit tight. So with Oushk, I would recommend size up one from your normal size. They, they come up small, especially if you're a little bit curvy. But they do go on. You know, like, it is true to size in that you can wear it. But because you're doing a practical kind of sport... I would, I, I just would rather it be a bit of a be better fit, like that, so, god they're so cool these suits, I'm gonna say I, I didn't know about this brand until recently and I'm quite impressed, it's very fun, so if you're looking for like a fun ski brand, I do recommend checking these guys out, but yeah it's way too tight around my hips and butt area, like I think if I fell in this it would rip. But I think a medium would actually be really nice in this, and I, I think I prefer this one to the wacky pink one. Like, I really like the little rainbow, and I like all the tags on it. It's quite, it's quite fun. So, no, I quite, I quite like this one, but part of me is thinking maybe just like a plain one, like black and white could be a really nice suit, but I haven't seen that kind of perfect combo yet. And I did love this icy blue one that I tried on first. But it is so similar to my other one, so I just can't quite justify having two of the same. But these ones are such nice quality. I really rate them. If you're going for like a proper ski trip, maybe go for like a proper ski suit and um, just size up one. That's like my only piece of advice. I have no other flaws with this brand, otherwise they are really nicely made suits. They're just a little bit small. So um, yeah, that's the last suit. So I'm now just gonna try on the ski trousers and we can see how those fit. But the ski trousers, I'm not sure how much those are. I'll link them down below if I can find the actual listing. But the ski suit I was meant to get is 110 pounds. And so I might reorder that one um, just because I, I want to know how their, um, like a black ski suit would look. But unfortunately, I got sent the wrong item, but I'll still show you because you guys might find it useful. I'm just stripping out of my ski suits. And I love the lining. I mean, look at that. The lining is like pink and blue and it's like almost like lightning. That's really cool. So they haven't missed out any detail on these suits. They are really, really lovely. So I do very much recommend them. Just a little bit iffy on size. This is them on and I think they're almost actually thermals to go underneath so they're very very stretchy they have like little foot things as well to go like inside boots. They are fleece lined and they do feel like they could withstand like a bit of snow like they have like a waterproof texture to them but they're just a bit strange. The crutch is quite low on me as well I think maybe my legs are a bit long for them so because I've hooked them under my ankle it's like trying to pull them down if that makes sense. So they're not like a favourite of mine. They're very easy to wear and they do fit, but I think I prefer, you know, having thermals in a ski suit just so I can like layer up if I need to, whereas these are just a little bit thick, but not thick enough to be like on their own in the snow, if that makes sense. But they are nice. I like the simplicity of the black with like a nice little white logo, but they're not what I ordered. I wanted an all-in-one black ski suit to try. Um, these just aren't my style but potential nonetheless if you are going skiing and you want you get very hot these with a nice ski jacket could be an option but um yeah that is today's video i hope you guys found this useful if you're planning any ski trips i live in ski suits like for me i just love them like you have an outfit all in one they're just really fun um because i wear ski jackets a lot anyway um so when i'm skiing i want to I don't know, I want to jazz it up, I want to be fun on the slopes. But everything will be linked down below um, if you're interested. But thank you again for watching, my social media is also down below if you'd like to follow me on there. And I do have another geology channel if you're interested in the earth science world, um, called M Gems, which is also down below. But thank you again for watching, like and subscribe for more, and hopefully I'll see you next time.